What's up guys, it's Jay's Day. We're here at Perry Skate Park today and I'm gonna teach you guys how to front shove. <laughs> regular skater so I'm going with the thought process of I'm rolling this way my front foot tends to be somewhere right about here and my back foot I try not to let it go too much further than these back bolts almost try to keep it aligned with these and I bring it closer to this pocket here so my foot placement looks like this when I front shove I tilt my back foot just a little bit to kind of help me get a really solid scoop into my front shove motion and my front foot I keep it straight so I kind of have like a this movement right here. This is what I look for when I front shove. I can do it straight off like this as well, but I get a better pop when I keep it tilted because it allows me to put most of my pressure close to the pocket and get a lot more of the force into my toes when I go for that scoop. And it just keeps the scoop nice and controlled under me. Now, when I talk about using the pocket, I don't want you guys to over use the pocket because then you can make the board wrap around your back foot i would say you could tilt your foot to where a little bit of your foot is in that pocket to kind of help with the control of the front shove and what that would do is it will make sure that your scoop doesn't allow your board to shoot too far away from you but you don't want to overuse the pocket if you overuse the pocket it will wrap around your back foot or you will still have a problem where you don't really keep control of the board under your feet. So I put it slightly in that pocket, which is why I tilt my foot, because it doesn't allow my toes to be in the pocket. I would say if you're going to use the pocket like I do for my front shoves, do not let your toes hit the pocket. Your toes hitting the pocket is what will cause the wrap. If you let like the arch of your foot hit the pocket, or maybe if you really want to test it that way let the ball of your toe like this part of your toe hit the pocket that's as far as i let it go nothing else no part of your toe nothing that actually does the bending motion because that's going to alter how your front shove works so if you do decide to use the pocket like me um do not let any part of your foot that actually does the bending no part of your toe touches that pocket you're keeping your front foot as still as possible on the front of the board that's just to help you with your balance and your back foot is doing a scoop motion. If you put your foot in the pocket, it kind of helps keep that scoop motion controlled under you, but essentially you're pushing down and out. I think of it as doing like a letter J with your foot, or like doing the hook motion with your foot. If you do that motion every single time with your front shove, that's going to allow it to stay under your front foot, and then it's just gonna be about bringing your back foot back to the board. If I put too much of my foot on the board, it makes it a lot harder to get a nice, good snap and a nice, good scoop from my board. And if I put it too far towards the edge, it's just a very uncontrollable front shove that I have. I tend to do front three shoves with less foot, less back foot on the board. So um, that's why I choose the position that I showed you guys and that's why I recommend it to you guys as well. It just gives me the most solid front shove. And for somebody who took a solid, what, six months, maybe maybe seven to get a good front shove and to actually be able to do it like my homies were doing it all the time on me in games of skate, it definitely takes work. But once you figure out that foot placement that works best for you and how to get that hook motion in your scoop, that front shove should be under you almost every single time. With that being said, let me show you guys a couple front shoes. <laughs> Standing still won't suck for me. <laughs> Is there anything I can recommend to you guys? Don't try front shove standing still. <laughs> front shove is a lot easier when you try it moving because you have that momentum that your scoop fights, but it kind of helps keep the board under your feet. When you're doing it standing still, there's kind of no momentum for it to fight or for it to go with or against. So it kind of just goes behind you or wants to kind of force itself to go primo if you have a little bit of that pocket pressure. So uh, just fair warning, if you guys want to avoid landing primo or falling down a little bit more, I definitely recommend you start trying this trick moving, just like I would recommend the same thing for shove it's because the trick acts definitely different from how it would if you were doing it moving. 
cool thing about front shove is that the position that you use for your regular front shove can be used for nollie, fakie, and switch. And once you have the concept of a regular front shove, the other three come actually a lot easier than you would expect them to. So I definitely recommend once you learn how to front shove to give the other three a shot. I think you guys will love doing the other three as well. And that's how you master those front shoves. Shoot, that's it when it comes to front shoves, guys. It's all about that back foot position. Whether you want it closer to the pocket or not, it's completely up to you. I use it just because it makes it more comfortable for me to get that scoop right. An important thing about the front shows is just keeping your equilibrium nice and equal between the board. When you lean too far forward, you tend to wheel bite forward. When you lean too far back, you tend to slip back a lot. And honestly, not keeping your balance like right over the board can lead to the board going primo a lot easier or just you losing contact with the board. So if you do want to avoid that, or if you're having that issue where your board is like flipping around or not staying under you or anything like that, check how you're leaning over the board. If you lean too far over your toes, that's probably why it's going primo. Same thing as if you're leaning too far back, that's why it's shooting in front of you. It looks like a hard trick. It feels hard when you're trying it, but if you try it moving on concrete before trying, like, I just recommend you guys try it moving versus trying it standing still. It makes the trick so much easier because when you learn it standing still, you still have to relearn it moving because it's completely different techniques that you're using to do it standing still versus doing it moving. So that's why I wanted to teach you guys it moving and show you guys more so me doing it moving. But of course I gave you a standstill shot just so you guys can use that um, if you guys need it. That's it, it's Jay's day. Make today your day and go learn those front shoves. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.